Hey this is Reddit Stories. I am reading stuff. Today we will be continuing with r slash tales from her tale. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Now sit back and enjoy the stories. You're at a pharmacy, not a jewelry store. I'm on mobile so sorry for any formatting issues. This just happened to me and my mind is blown by the stupidity of some people. See, I work as a pharmacy tech and this lady comes up to the register. I come up to her and ask if she was picking up a medication or dropping off a prescription. Here's basically how it went down. Lady, I need you to fix this for me, plops down a broken bracelet. Me, ma'am, I don't know how to fix broken jewelry, and we don't fix jewelry here. L, you guys used to do it though. M, I've been here for a year and we've never had services like that. If we had one, you might want to ask someone in the front store for information. L, why can't you help me? M, I don't know how to help you. I'm a pharmacy tech. I deal with medications not jewelry. L, so you can't fix it? M, no, ma'am. I'm sorry, you're at a pharmacy, not a jewelry store. L, oh, okay walks away. I stood there, baffled. I couldn't quite believe what just went down. I don't know. I just had to share this. I don't know. Edit. It's not a medical bracelet. It's a charm bracelet you can find in Pandora stores, just to clarify. Edit 2. My store had always been a pharmacy. Used to be a mom and pop pharmacy before an infamous corporation bought the place and expanded. The manager at the front store said they never offered repair services of any kind in the 10 years she had been working there. So I'm still baffled by the mistake. If you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to help us make more videos. Woman threatens to vomit on merchandise after I wouldn't give her a discount. Then actually does. Obligatory on mobile so my apology for formatting error. As for grammar and punctuation I'm just an idiot. So I worked at a certain phone company as a wireless consultant which is basically just a cashier that can change your phone plan and take your money for accessories and whatnot. Well we had a strict policy where if you buy a phone case or something of the sort and want to return it, you have to pay a 25% restocking fee. People often got annoyed at this so we would have them sign a waiver on the receipt that says they understand this is a rule. So this elderly Karen looking woman maybe around the age of 70-ish comes in to return an item, don't remember what exactly. Okay that's fine. I ring up her return and give her 75% of the price back to her. Cue mental breakdown. She says, I never knew about that policy, and that is stupid. I have been with this company for years and you should respect me blah blah blah. I tell her to give me the receipt so I can look at it. On the back of the receipt it very plainly says in big words there is a 25% restocking fee on all returned accessories. Directly under that was her signature. This escalated even worse and she began yelling and cussing and finally she looked me dead in the eyes and said, if you don't give me all of my money back I'm going to throw up all over. I tried to hold back my laughter but I couldn't help but let the smallest smirk cross my face because of how ridiculous this situation was. For context this item was maybe 35 United States dollars new so we are talking like 8 bucks she doesn't get back. And normally I'd cave for such a little amount and refund the whole thing, however, I was not a manager and did not have to code to do this. She storms off and walks out the door. Not even two minutes later she comes steaming back and slams her finger down her throat and sent her grandma juice all over the phone cases on the wall. At this point I was stunned and can't believe what was happening. I used all of my 7 hour communication training to handle the situation. Me. Ma'am please don't throw up on the merchandise. Her, shoves finger down throat and vomits on phone charger accessories. Me. Ma'am I am going to call the police. Her, proceeds to vomit on the counter I was standing behind. Me, petrified. Her, starts to leave, and on the way out looks at me, then sends it one more time on the glass door. Cops come, they honestly had a hard time believing what I said. They told me there wasn't a whole lot they could do. Manager comes in from her off day and tells me to clean it up. I quit. That was the first and only retail job I ever worked. You realize lighters aren't free, right? This literally just happened in the last 10 minutes, so I'm writing it down while I remember it. On mobile, but I will fix the formatting later. 
I work at a gas station where we lock the doors after 10 at night and do transactions through a window with an intercom type system. A woman asked for a lighter, and when I go the lighter and rang it up, it was $1.81. I told her the price, and asked how she wanted to pay, but instead of paying, she put a house key in the little pass-through drawer we used for transactions. I asked her again how she would be paying, and she went back to her car after taking the key back. She didn't put any money in, and this went back and forth for about 3 to 5 minutes. She finally drove off, but I wanted to mention it as this is so far the second weirdest thing to happen to me while on the night shift. Hit the subscribe button for more daily reddit content and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded. Also if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, it really does help the channel. If you have any ideas, suggestions let us know in the comment section. See you in the next one.